Christy Collins is here from Indie Spot Picnics. Let me set the stage for you. You, um, you, you want to take your girl on a date, fellas. You go to your favorite park, which might be um, uh, Coxhall Gardens, Gardens in, in Carmel. Or any of the indie parks. Uh, and you just bring her to the, to the, to the park. Mm -hmm. And Christy's already got this awesome picnic set up for you, this pop-up yeah. picnic. Yeah. Uh, so this is a great idea. Tell me, how, tell me about the origins of this. Okay, so um, it was kind of, I kind of just happened to find out about it at random. I was watching... Um, TikTok videos, and I kind of saw this mostly started in California, um, and I actually was really interested in it for myself. Um, tried to look for it here in Indiana, really didn't find anything here in Indiana, um, and so I was like, you know what, I think I can do it. I've got a lot of free time, I just had my baby, I work as a, a registered nurse, so I was only working three days a week, uh -huh. so I was like, this is definitely something that I can manage. I talked to my husband about it, and he was all for it. Um, and so, yeah, I kind of just escalated from there. It, you know, we went from doing kind of more simple to more luxurious. And um, so, so what would a typical um, pop-up picnic meal be for my wife and me if I if I want to surprise her? Yeah. So um, we do have different packages. So I mostly um, use a vendor. Uh, her name is Three One Seven Charcuterie. She's also in Carmel. Um, she does beautiful charcuterie boards, um, so I mostly just use her for charcuterie. Um, but we also have packages, DIY packages, where people can bring their own food. Um, so if you wanted to order out, if you wanted to bring a special meal, um, you, can, you can bring your own picnic food. Um, so yeah, I use charcuterie. People can bring their own foods. That We do have special requests from uh, certain restaurants in the area, and so I'll kind of help manage the catering side of that as well. I, I love the idea of of the surprise. How mm -hmm. many people are choosing to do it that way? Um, a ton of people. So we have a ton of proposals, obviously. Proposals are a big surprise for the women. So we do get reached out a lot for a lot of engagements, proposals. A lot of photographers will reach out for their clients if you know they think you know this is going to be a really great idea. Um, birthdays, we have a lot of husbands who want to do something special for their wives, so uh -huh. they'll reach out for birthdays. Um, bridal showers, baby showers, um, yeah, we could do just about anything. And, and the, the picture we have in front of us is, is nothing short of over-the-top elegance. Oh, this is, I mean, this is basically what you'll get basically for every single setup, uh -huh. at least. Um, our most basic one, our most basic package or classic, this is what you'll get, and we have an even more luxurious one. Um, well, you'll get more glitz and glam, more games, more um, more add-ons. I, I don't want this to sound like a loaded question, but when it's all done, um, are you going to clean it up? Absolutely. Okay. Yep. Ooh, I do not have about. anybody pick up any of the food, any of the mess, any of the paints. Sometimes, you know, we have add-ons where you, people can add canvases. I want nobody to touch anything. Once you're done, you can get up, you can hang out, you can walk away. Me and my husband will pick everything up, all the trash, all the food. So, yeah, I, I want it to be one of those experiences where it's everything is taken care of for you. And you started this at, a, at sort of the tail end of the pandemic. Yes. Uh, have you been, uh, it's, it's got to be gratifying that it has really taken off for you. Yes, um, I, and that was one of the reasons why I really wanted to start out doing it was I, I feel like a lot of people were kind of closed in and kind of closed off during the pandemic. And so I just felt like this was a really good thing to do. It kind of gets people to social distance outdoors, um, get outdoors more, um, experience other parks, especially for me and my husband. We really weren't like very outdoorsy. Uh -huh. um, and so this really allowed us to be able to kind of experience a lot more of Indianapolis, a lot more of the beautiful parks that we have around here, a lot of the trails. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, I think it gets people out there. It gets people to just kind of really see how beautiful Indianapolis is. Well, thank you, Christy. And uh, Patty, the word is out now. People are lining up <laughs> for Christy's card. <laughs>